cold <laughs> open. <laughs> that was a rolling open. <laughs> Love it. Oh, that was a cold one. Now is a cold. No, because a cold open would be. Come now. Go. Oh, they're the same thing, aren't they? Is that the whole thing? Bomb them. Out? What is going on? I guess it's a rolling start today, <laughs> baby. <laughs> what is going on, guys? It's your boy, Davey D. Yeah, from Real Global Productions, and you're watching Vibes Podcast. Vibes, 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 Vibes. I'm joined here with the beautiful DJ D. Dooley. Hello. Certified Vibes controller behind the chair. He's like Wade from Kim Possible, but no wheelchair. He was never and in a wheelchair. <laughs> Captain in the Brizzle to my right. My right hand man. How's it, brothers? The man of your dreams. I've never been in anyone's dreams unless it was a nightmare. Did you do it on purpose? Like... Did, did you? I show up in their nightmares on purpose? Yeah. Now, the way I've set up my personality is that you can't think positively of me when I'm not around. I don't know how that's going to work for, like, you know... Life future. and happiness. <laughs> for others, <laughs> I'm doing great. <laughs> but doesn't mean you go out a lot, so it makes sense. Like, you're always around people. Fucking shoot me broken, I go out a lot, man. Still, can I tell you, Libs goes out more than the service industry. And they work there. They work where Lebs goes and he goes out more than Yeah, except being paid. I said this to myself. I'm like, I can't keep going out if I'm not getting paid to do it. Like, I go out to places where all my friends are, but all my friends are getting paid to be there. And what does Lebs do on Sunday? Fucking go out to where my friend... I'm, I'm literally going to my friend's place of work. <laughs> 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 she literally works there. <laughs> I literally beautiful. get to party at the same time. Oh, that's party is a strong word. That's a so nice the, word. Yeah. Socialize. Yeah, socialize is a better word. But this weekend was a flipping party there by oh. Katie's, man. Yeah. Yeah. A Juna Deep. Because it was that a Juna Deep thing. Shout out to Juna Deep. I got this. Sweat, yo. If you want to talk about it. Did you see the, I saw the pictures. What pictures? I saw your picture over there. Am I there? You're in like three. There's one where you look like you're in groove. Like back like old libs. Let me tell you something. I saw him this weekend. I did. But also, I've been going to that venue for I don't know how long. This is probably the first time I've ever been in a picture. Like no, I mean, we, we, picture. you and I had a few pictures together. Who, no, that no. we've taken ourselves. No, no, no. Those Actually, photographers <laughs> gave me my eyes and allow it. I'm, I'm going to say something it could be controversial, but that whoever did the photos this time, he edited a lot. Like, Or it could be his lens. But everyone looks like watercolor. <laughs> like, I... While, while you're busy talking, I'm going to quickly find I this. Don't want to look. <laughs> what do you mean watercolor? Like faded? Or like you put a filter over it. Yeah, if you want it, you can cut this out. But search Facebook and just go look at the pictures that most recently posted. You have, One you thing have I love the, about Dave the is Dave will... Till it's this T-Rex. I was like, yo, I bet. I wish I could actually look that up right now. <laughs> your Facebook. Yeah. Uh, speaking of Facebook, when last were you on that? Anyways, please don't look at my search history. On Facebook? Are we going to allow this? Are we just going to... I mean, no, this is... Just, uh, oh, you can't go on Facebook yet. Yeah. Okay, it's fine. We'll, I'll the show you guys off. Is... So. Um, no, it's just like, it's just a weird style of editing, or maybe they wanted that. That's not it. I only go to Facebook to find people that are private on in, in Instagram. That sounded very <laughs> sounded very stalkerish. But what I meant was, you know, when is it I'm not gonna finish it. It's it's stalkerish. Yeah. The whole fucking it... When Facebook fails, where do you go? Ooh. Um, Your mother's what, what are we what are we looking? Are we looking for like someone or like one of our guests? David, no. if I said to you, Oh my goodness, I saw the most beautiful hun at this party this weekend, walk us through your process of how you'll find that person on gram. Okay, so obviously where you where you went, it's the easiest thing to look. For. If you got their name, fantastic. That's a good I never name. got it. Okay, you never got the name. Then you search location of where you guys were. Okay. So you check for what? person. I mean, it's... Dude, I wouldn't even have thought it that far. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, carry on. Damn. That... <laughs> wow, I guess I'll never see her again. <laughs> yeah, that's what normal people do, man. What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you look there, see if you can find them. If that doesn't work, then you start asking who they're with. This is gonna come off so dodgy. <laughs> like I realize this is so bad, but also everyone does it. Like everyone does. It. A everyone, every everyone single does. person. 
in the world. <laughs> Put a disaster. comment down if you do this as well. Don't do that, please. Um, see who they're with, and then you see, like, because you may know someone there, like, oh, a like neutral. neutrals. Yeah, Look and then you can. Then you, then you gotta hope that you follow the mutuals and then you gotta go into the photos of and just scroll and find something, hopefully. 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 Yeah. I don't know why he's acting like he's innocent, yeah. David is my literal PI, dude. I don't do anything. <laughs> like my hands are clean. I just say to David, Davy, how old is this person? I don't know. And then he finds the grade that they were in, the fucking Nepal team they played for. <laughs> so <laughs> sick, <it's you. laughs> We never find the sports stars because nah. they're not going out. Nah. <laughs> the sports stars are staying in and making great life choices. But remember that one um the one girl Truth that was speaking to me with the pink hair? I wish I could remember, but no. No. Well there was this girl and Lev's Yes, I remember. Yeah, Lev's was like she was definitely flirting. So I didn't I still didn't believe it. But then I didn't I that's the time I did what you do where it's like, wow. That's great. I'll never see her again. Left it. Then I see, like, the picture of the night I was working at the bar. She's just there with her boyfriend. But, you know, she was there. <laughs> that <laughs> with her boyfriend. With her boyfriend. How many people do you think saw you at Babs and then kind of just, like, made their way? Yeah, oh, parasocial, you know? What? As in, like, a lot of people would see him working at Babylon. So if we were at somewhere else... They'd be like, oh shit, that's the bartender from Babylon. Come oh, here, Babylon. And then, Come here, Babylon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. I'm sure a lot of people recognize him, like on the daily. Da- Davy is probably the most famous out of all of us. That's that hot Ro- guy from Babylon. Ross, Ross is definitely more than me. Ross? Yeah, everyone knows Ross. Not anymore. He doesn't have clout like he used to. Uh, you have clout now. People see you and they're scared to talk to you. You know, we were at that palace yeah, this weekend <laughs> and this hun walked past me and she was like, Vabs, Vabs, Vabs. I was like, oh my goodness, thanks so much. And I turned around and where she had come from, David was sitting like right there. I was like, did you hear that? Those huns talking on the stairway. And I was like, he was like, what? And I'm like, yeah, no. She came up to me. She was like, Vabs, Vabs, Vabs. And then turned to her friend and was like, did you see? Those are the Vabs boys. And then David's like, so why didn't you agree with me? <laughs> <laughs> I think David's becoming unapproachable. That's what I'm saying. Please don't ever say that because it's, that's not me though. No, nah, like, you're too intimidating. You're getting to that level of hot where you're intimidating. I feel like I've regressed. So it's not so right. <laughs> I am ugly in I'm wearing way. shorts today. <laughs> it's because you're comfortable now. Every Australian girl wants to be with you. Australian girl? Yeah. Yeah, to what? be fair. Look at how you look. Oh, because of the mullet and the mustache. Yeah. yeah. They want Where you. are they? Even sea bum In Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't do me much help. Maybe appeal to your market, Dave. <laughs> Maybe it's, it's time. Well, my line. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't true. date in Australia. I would. I would date anyone. This is a cry for help. How's it? Sarah. Sarah, please. Sarah, please. No callbacks, baby. Yeah, man. Yeah, season two. God damn it. Uh, but yeah, this weekend was fucking stupid because I went to Summit on Friday. So How was Summit? Summit was nice, man. It was actually quite dope. It was like an example of what Regan was talking about where he was like, if you think a draw isn't good because it's not packed, like that's on you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it was one of those ones where the draw wasn't packed but we had a fucking party. Like it was issue. like everybody that was there was just there to support. Like half the crowd that came, came to support like the DJs we were playing. So, yeah. It's so weird to me to think of Summit Quiet because we only went there for that QIS night and it was like massive. Oh, so it's so like, it must be so weird to see that place as floor kind of thing. Mm, that's very true. That place is really sick. It is amazing to me that going out has become though, like I feel like when we first started going out after high school, it was very much like us discovering Mm. like DJs discovering places to go and then it became now we like part of the community that goes out yeah and then you know the people that are going out I know we've spoken about this before mm. but but like you're saying like Summit was just the community going out there was probably people there that don't know that half the people there you know are like there all the time 100% it's so interesting to me because like we were those people that coming into other people's communities full layman not yeah. knowing anything which would be fucking great. Oh, can if I you tell you? If I could go back again. and not you know are... anything. <laughs> oh. 
But you know what it was? Just the, enjoy the music. The man. other day I was thinking about it as well. It's like, even with like the amount of stuff we know about who throws parties and who throws events, I'm like, people don't care. Like, think about you before you had to do this job. Like, you didn't care who threw that party or who threw that party. Now it like interests you a lot. Like, you're like, oh, we use wrong. it as weird reasons as well. It's like, oh, they're doing this party. It's going to be cuck. It is. But like, no one else thinks that. <laughs> Yeah, people are just like, oh, but it's going to be this artist. And yeah, it's, like, it's on a Friday. I'm not doing anything. Imagine that's your life. It's on a Friday. I'm not doing anything. Let me go. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm not going to go. David I said a boundaries. weird thought process as well. It's like... In... So you're going out. You're this cool guy, like top, top of the food chain. Everyone likes to see you. Then you decide to start like DJ. Then you automatically, you're like, you're big fish, small pond. Then you become small fish, big pond. When you become a DJ. You kind of like regress. Yeah. Hectic. And like, it's so weird because it's like, you, you, may, you may be so cool to see at a party, but no one's going to come watch your DJs. Uh, yeah. You have to build yourself up back yeah. again. Yeah. I've, d I've just noticed it. Cause like, there's a few um, people that I've seen into the scene now where they were like, Top of the food chain of the going out crew. Like they were out every weekend at every jewel you could think of. And then they started DJing now and it's you know. So I just think it's hard. Because then imagine it's like you go there, you've got to learn everything. I don't know. It was just a weird thought process. No, but it's cool. I mean, what what I, what dumb bullshit that I wrote down was I was at this like work thing after, um, what's it? After work. <laughs> sorry. Nice. I'm so sorry about the podcast. Um, and they were talk we were talking about like, I was showing people my Instagram and being like, what would you think of me if you saw this Instagram? So it's almost like your brand is who you are at the jaw, right? But then if you become a DJ, you switch your brand entirely because now everybody looks at you as, You're oh, he's a DJ, he's trying jewel. to be a DJ, he's working to be a DJ. Like, yeah. No, you were selling tickets to the jaw now. You're playing, no, you're playing at the jaw, exactly. Whole different ball game. Whole different ball game. I think it just changes, it changes the whole vibe because I think of those people now and I hardly spend any time with them as much as I used to before they became part of the industry. But I mean, that's their grind, man. So I mean, it's them. like a lot of the guests that we talk to, it's like the, it's like that thought and what we were saying this morning or right now, I'm not sure if it was in the episode, but it's like going out and not getting paid. It's like, they're not going to do it. Kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. And it's like it's my job i'm not gonna go there and just sit there spend money yeah 100 i'm not a consumer anymore but it's because then they'd go out as much as i do and they're financially savvy and i'm deep into the credit limit on oh my god i won't make it to april <laughs> without some kind of case you just got following. scammed the other day <laughs> don't lie yeah there's a certain bank that i bank with Boom, 8K deduction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I said 8,000 rand. What was the reference? Auto um, pay. Yeah, auto credit something, 111 SB auto credit. So then I'm being stupid because this came off again like a m two months earlier, right? So 1,000. Oh. Boom. So then I was like, there's no way <laughs> I owe 8,000 rand. <laughs> And for me to make it to the end of this month, I can't pay 8,000 rand in fees. <laughs> so then I went to the bank. It was a very easy process because I couldn't dispute it on the app. So I went to the bank and I got to dispute it on their computer inside the bank. And I had to pay 32 rand to dispute it. <laughs> but I got my money back. <laughs> so you lost 32 yeah, rand? Yeah, I lost 32 rand and my time and petrol. <laughs> Jeez, I'm like. thinking of joining Discovery as a day, Dave. I don't think it was cap. I don't think it was then that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's cap, but you know. I don't, I don't think it was Canet Bank. <laughs> Who did Canet it? Bank. I don't think it was them that scammed you. Or do you think it was them that scammed you? No, it's not them. Uh, it was scammed. I think they just have poor security. I mentioned the bank. Had this elaborate plan to scam their, <laughs> their bankers, hilarious. and they just had they were taking 8k from people, and then the whole thing was to get them to come do a dispute so they could get their 32 and they're rand. Like, they're like, we don't care about the money, and what warms me as well is that it's like, <laughs> I, 
I only went through because of how much it was. But if it was less, I probably would have let it slide because I would have thought somewhere, somehow. You know but they I mean? didn't even, did they tell you where the transaction was made? Was no, it a credit they, card? Was brother, it? when I tell you I disputed it and I got my money back same time, I clicked there, I saw here. That's how quickly the process went. So I'm just like, that's kind of crazy that you're willing to just give people money by disputing random. Yeah, shit. Yeah. But like even my mother went through this recently as well. Even uh, Cody went through this recently. Same, uh, not You're the telling same me bank, that another bank. Fugal. What did you fickle? What do you call someone who's good with money or part with money? Frugal. <laughs> Frugal. Fickle. <laughs> now fickle was the right word. Anyways. Fickle. Yes, that guy. <laughs> Love you, Cody. The ficklest um, of them all. No, but they went through the Fickler. same thing, and they got also taken away a bunch of money. What was my point? Now I forgot. <laughs> oh, you disputed it. Easy to I'm dispute. sure. Cody disputes sense. You that won't, you won't add 90. What did he do to you at the farm? Who did he no, make? No, no, no. It was, so it was his birthday. No. Yeah, it was his birthday. And then he bought pizzas. And then afterwards, uh, look, I love him. I love you, Cody. And I don't mind. I was glad to pay the pizzas. But the way you did it, a bit shady. They buy the pizzas for everyone. And then said, don't stress, guys. If you want to, we can. And then everyone's like, yeah, sure. I mean, we can... Do it. Three days later. All right, the pizzas are this, this, and this price. <laughs> and then someone didn't send him a cent value and he was like, hey. I sent him 10 cents. I sent him 10 cents less. And then he was like, someone missed the 10 cents. And I was like, you actual. <laughs> and you know, it's one of those ones where you think it's a joke. It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not. His <laughs> books won't balance if you don't send him the 10 cents. Actually, that, it's it, like his brain can't let it happen. Yeah. I promise, as an accountant. Got and then even then, and I didn't want to bring this up because I told Luke yesterday and he wanted, he was going to bring up to Cody, but if it's going to be in the air, I may as well let it be. I went <laughs> and I cut his hair after, after hours, like 6 or 5.30 in the evening. I wasn't going to be working. I said, you know what, it's fine. Let me, like you're doing a photo shoot tomorrow. Let me help you out. Cut his hair. It's showed like I'm happy with it. Sends me 10 rand more than my haircut normally is with him. Just don't do that. Just don't like <laughs> pay me the actual amount. Don't tip me ten rand for driving to your house <laughs> and cutting your hair. I don't appreciate it. I don't want the tenner. That would hurt my feelings. Bro, if I knew I could just be tipping you ten rand, can I have all my money back, please? No, I mean, I'm not gonna start putting tipping wars, but you see what Ethan does. Yeah, Ethan's told me what he does. Yeah, yeah. Ethan's a Ethan's a big spin. <laughs> He's a good guy. Good club. I mean, it only comes come like every two months. I said I would. I'll okay. start crying. I mean, I'll actually, no, good. after you went to the... The Moroccan. <laughs> yeah, I would oh. gladly cut your hair. <laughs> they fucked you up. <laughs> Let's not speak of our hair anymore. Because you're a fucking princess. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Well, guys, we came... We here at Vibes Podcast have a new segment that you all so much love. It's called Rate the Vibe. Yo, it's damn. not a quiz. It's not a quiz. That's really... That's a whole description. I'll give him more of a description. Rate the vibes out of 10. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's not. There's going to be a picture and we're going to have to rate it out of 10. The picture is only for visual reference. It's just words. Like we could just say it out loud, but you know, if you're on audio, don't feel like you're missing out. You are. <laughs> you should, you should go to YouTube. Over. Come look at me. You should watch the episode with all three streaming platforms open. Spotify, Apple, and YouTube. Yo, and on the... Fucking thumbnails. Use your speaker. Amazon. Yeah. Use your, your home speaker. Alexa, call it. Put it on. Alexa, mm-hmm. play Vibes Podcast. Yo, bro. Don't. Hey, Siri. Play Vibes no. Podcast. Don't do this. There's an iPhone in this room. <laughs> I fucking know it. Does that not work? <laughs> <laughs> it's voice. Um, voice. Oh, so she knows my voice. Oh, well, she should. Well, let me turn yours on. Hi, Siri. <laughs> Thank God it didn't I'm work. Sorry, if I'm it didn't work, I'm probably going to punch it in the face. Uh, Abusive. Rate the vibe. So you were essentially just going to rate these vibes out of 10 and just talk about it. Oh, so it's, yeah, that's a, that's the whole thing, man. So I don't need to describe it, man. I don't know why you decided to do that. Okay, so the first vibe. The vibe's at bang. Still clear. <laughs> King's Landing. King's Landing <laughs> in Westeros. How Game would, of Thrones. How much would you enjoy that? Where am I? 
Yeah, you, 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 you can choose where you are. What, there by the gates, you're there in the city walking, you're in the royal castle. No, Just because the general things, vibes of the city. Things aren't good everywhere. It's like saying vibes in Joburg, it's like house and living life. <laughs> Hill bro. <brow. laughs> Not living. <laughs> um, King's Landing, I'm going to put myself middle ground. Not so good. Okay. Because I heard someone pissed off someone and they've I got a few dragons. <laughs> I completely forgot that even happened in that series where they just came and ruined the town, just deleted every single human being. Yeah, just no. for the sake of. But would you? I think I think I'd have a great time in King's Landing, like season one. I think days. comparatively to like, what's um Dawn, other one, they're the OGs, uh, Winterfell. Winterfell, Winterfell, yeah, Winterfell looks like a shithole. Yeah, like that's, and winter. Uh... That's always winter. It's been winter for a hundred years. Literally. And, and winter's still coming. Oh no, that's the summer. That's the summer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know about uh, I don't know a lot about the vibes in Winterfell, but I think I could fuck there. Like when I say to you, like, I don't have sex. Yeah, you'll pay for I it. I could definitely. No, in Winterfell. What prostitute what prozies are in Winterfell? That's well, a bring Roz, from King's Landing. Not the good one. Roz. They brought her from King's Landing. They didn't bring Roz. She was there. No, Roz That's where they it. scouted her. And I nah, trust Dill because he's watched the show five times. Yeah, Dill used to watch a lot of those scenes for the dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted to know what was going it's on. like, I really want to figure out what's happening in this scene. It's like, why is there a five minute PVR recording of Game of Thrones? <laughs> why is Littlefinger always describing his plan? Oh, over and over. Five out of ten, four out of ten. I'm gonna say four King's out of Landing. Ten, King's Landing would never want to go there. Where I need to ask this question though. Where in Game of Thrones do you wish you grew up? Ugh, Dawn. There they just But fuck. but hear me out, Dawn in that side is is the south, bro. But also see yeah, I mean not the south of South Africa, I mean like the south of the United States. Like that back in the day. You know what I mean? Dawn was Dawn sick. People Dawn's killing gorgeous. everyone. It's well, dangerous there. Culture, baby. My problem is like imagine you go to dawn and you're still like single. <laughs> like that that's a that's a tough one. That's a tough one to take. <laughs> like no one wants me. <laughs> Not a single soul. I was talking to Lucy. That has to the sister and I'm <laughs> I have a sister, anyways. I was talking to Luke Sard about that exact same thing because I was like, anytime I'm angry at my height and want to get that surgery for your knees, I'm like, I won't be able to like walk. But also, if nobody wants me when I'm tall, uh, I think yeah. that would be yeah. crazy. I can't even think about the emotional damage, but yeah, then the femur like, damage would. Yeah, the femur yeah. damage would probably be worse, but the emotional damage, you're like, because you always say, what's holding you back? Your height. Imagine you get the height, then... It's like, yeah, it's actually, your personality is shit inside. I can't change that. Okay. God. God. I'm not tried. changing for you. You've tried. Four out of ten. Bad Four vibes. Four out of ten. Bad vibes. Next vibes. Oh, the Titanic, Titanic baby. Rate the vibes on that motherfucker. Am I a woman or child? <laughs> <laughs> you are you. Because... <laughs> I think I've, 10 out of 10 if I was the musical crew I don't think it actually happened in real life but what if, were they just played it out yeah they were like we're just gonna do one last song for y'all <laughs> we don't really get to play a lot of these uh, so yeah no it would have been death it's um, not but the vibes that. though like what, what during throughout uh, from getting on the boat to getting off the boat no see so my thing is imagine you've paid good money for this thing Blind. then you see old Jack you know he's a, a bit of a rat. Scallywag. You've Scal seen, a scat. You've seen him Scal a You've seen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean that's Crook. a real word. Yeah, no. You've seen him a groove, and he never pays for one drink. Yeah. He doesn't tip shooter girls. <laughs> Tips some other ways. Um, so you pay good money now, <laughs> and yeah. he's now he's now fucking just living your life, and then, bops your girl. Yeah, the <laughs> <laughs> in your car that's his dinner season your car can't go anywhere he found your car because you're transporting it because you're rich he found it he pumped in your car and he vibed then he took a picture he took an actual picture of her 
five. <laughs> you had dudes in a, in a four max. You wake up in the morning and there's theta in your back seat on the window. And you're like, where'd I go? <laughs> I was sleeping. I was sleeping. Rose, you were sleeping as well, right? Yeah, yeah. You just got up to get water for 45 minutes, yeah? <laughs> they were painting, my boy. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't, wouldn't be too pumped there. Yeah. And then when everything's going to shit, huh? I mean, if I was him, I'd probably be a bit excited that it all all going to come to an end. <laughs> I would have died. <laughs> and then you would have seen them together. Oh, come on. <laughs> on the door. On the door. I have enough space for all of us. Please, Rose, you're embarrassing me. Do you think Rose was a thought or do you think it's okay because it was love? Hey, I don't think she was in a relationship. Was well, she? she not cuffed to that man? Bill, fact check. You love Titanic. Oh, but not now. <laughs> Not, why does he have the computer? Was Rose cuffed to the gent with the big forehead and beady eyes? Slick back hair, glasses, mustache. Would you have enjoyed the Titanic? No, I would have been working. Mm. That's not a funny joke anymore. No. <laughs> so, yeah. oh, I knew you would have. <laughs> Damn it. Um, let me Today I mind. saw, um, so where I work, it's, I promise it makes sense. It connects uh, they're a just, lot. Mm. They so, weren't married. No, they weren't. She got married later in life when she survived. Yeah, obviously. No, not married to Jack, but married to the gent that was there. Yeah, no, they went. No, she the was. Diamond. She was like sixteen. It was like weird. <laughs> yeah. Um. Today, so uh, where I work in London is a place called Choo Choo Junction. And they do um like monthly. Every like two months, they swap their menu around. And then today they had the Spanish word for black, and it was a cocktail. Mm, what did, if it's Spanish, you can say it. No, thank you. You won't catch me. Spell it. No, next five. I'm, you guys can spell it at home and then you can How send they, pro do they pronounce it differently? <laughs> no, no, understand. I'm not trying to catch you. I'm just wondering. Yeah, know? they do. No. So keeping on the theme of things that will never happen or fictional places. <laughs> <laughs> That's a shit. Bob's in bed mm. I'll be honest, I think the vibes in Bedford are actually sick when the sun is up. As soon as it goes down, it's like boy. vampire city kind of thing. <laughs> There's some creatures um, that live there. I know something that... Okay, so it's like, if you look at it, the houses are nice, the venues are average. Yeah, it's not, it doesn't really have... No, it's got a... It's just the vibe of it that everyone feels so free. Like, even people from the north, when you take them out of the north and put them in Bedford... Everyone just feels like they can do whatever and say whatever and drink however much and oh, throw yeah. vomit cigarettes into your mouth. You know, Lib's got, Lib's got an asthma attack from secondhand, not smoke, but someone speaking to him who had smoked. <laughs> They're just like breathing. I, it didn't seem possible, but he was generally messed up from the evening. He's fucking dying, dude. Were they like a chain smoker, bro? I, think I don't so. know what the hell they were doing. It was like they were ashing the cigarette directly in their beard and then were grabbing me like this by my neck. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to talk to me about this shit. Oh, God. And then we went to another party where it had been smoked out because <laughs> there was just so much cigarettes. I forgot people smoke cigarettes and... I miss vape, man. It takes a lot for me to say that. I think people are going back to cigarettes. They shouldn't. Mm. I... I the world smells better without them. Um, Bedford View is solid because you've the 10 out of 10 ladies. 10 out of 10. They're crazy. Love you guys. They're crazy though. As I told you, you've, you've all heard the episode where I was driving with someone drinking a bottle of wine and they were from Bedford View. You know who you are. It took me to a mountain to then drink wine or a hill, a kopi. You miss it. <laughs> <laughs> Call me. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> um, jaws are average. Actually, no. The only that we had the best time at um, Select Sun. Was it the Select view? Sun? Yeah, that was the best time. We had so much fun there. The first time. Yeah. When he decided he was gonna get fucked up. Yeah. Right. Where's uh, the view? 
The view. First Sundays. Uh, where you where... drove us and then did the classic. Ah, lips. Yeah, my, yeah, my <laughs> car keys, man. <laughs> <laughs> you had fun. I had fun. How did we? I don't even remember going to the stage that night. We didn't. We, we just stayed at the back and the same. We just sort of left early. Like, <laughs> we... <laughs> can you guess it? It was kind of fun. It was just fun because it was different. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was like fun to see it. I don't know. So, I mean, it was it was dead quiet when we got there, because I think for us it was like going to Katie's at like one and one o'clock in the afternoon. It's like it's not open at one. Yeah, it's like doing that because yeah. they weren't open. Yeah, and we just sat there. You, just you know, sitting and having dinner. I wonder if there's something to going to a place like imagine going to Katie's when it's closed, and then waiting for it to open and then just watching everyone come in. I mean, that's slowly. what we did. That's what we did the yeah. video. And that was the beautiful part because we were yeah, like, know what we've literally been. like dealt with, like we've been hoodwinked here. Yeah. Well, we and we then it lost. was like, oh, wait. This is the best place on planet Earth. Would you guys do that at like a Katie's just to see the we vibe? We did that. I, I mean, we did it for just... Lev's birthday. We got there kind of early. Like but four or something. Yeah. Just but like four. two. Two o'clock when the doors open. Imagine you're, imagine you're first in line at Katie's. Do I have nothing <laughs> else to do with my day, really? <laughs> I'm sure it's like, bro, I'm sure church is still and you can go finish your, like, your session. <laughs> Can't be me. Can't be me. But the vibes at Betty's? 10 out of 10. You don't have to always tell me that everything's 10 out of 10. I think it's got a lot of possibilities to it. Because we don't know. It's new. It's like my thing. New. Where, Politely go fuck yourself. Politely is <laughs> crazy. What is that? Politely. What did you say? <laughs> I knew. Oh. It's like you go and like the reason Joburg's so boring for me now these days is because we go to everything. Like we've gone to everything. We're going to Sunday. I told you. It's just like we go to the places too often. Like nothing's new and exciting. Bedford when we went there. We got, imagine, imagine. <laughs> this makes it sound like we're sick and high in the food chain. But when last did you have to, first of all, pay for your entrance <laughs> and second of all, get told that with a full, they sold out of tickets? Where did they tell us this? At, um, oh, for booze, bro. <laughs> we went to a party, they said they sold out, you can't go. I said, <laughs> that can't be true. <laughs> and then we ended up finessing our way into the party because it wasn't sold out. There's no such thing. Imagine telling a group of three people, Sorry, guys, we're at capacity. Literally, no more people can come in. Yeah, There's three bands. So for There's me, I, th I thought the problem was the top, and that's why I was like, like, it's drum and bass. Like, we do drum and bass. Like, why, why would you want us there? Kind of thing. Like, it, it hurt my feelings a bit, but then we realized it was probably connivers. Yeah, they wanted us to stay downstairs, pay 150 to fucking draw at the bottom. Because it was like two separate events kind of thing. Oh. It was like two normal crew, and then it's the event that's happening. And I was like, this was, it, was this at Summit? No, it was at Bailey's. Uh, 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 I'll gladly name and shame. Yeah. And I was like, I'll never come to this place unless it's for. Like, that place bangs, place. dude. I don't know what it is, but it's, it's, it's such a lack of place. I think it's, uh, I mean, if you Rock think about it, kids. if you stay any further in the East, that's your, that's your North. Like, if yeah. you stay in the east, if you stay deep east, Bedford's north for you. Like Bedford's if you been... stay in Benoni, you telling me your that... Katie's palace is? <laughs> <laughs> you are crying. Bedford views the four ways of the east. Mm. Yeah, of course. That's yeah. deep. I'll gladly say that. Yeah, and the street vibe was just, ugh, what a night. Yeah. But really Bedford good. during the day, one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. I love it. Everyone has guns though, so just know that. <laughs> Bang it up. <laughs> No, so Chris knows his guns. But rate the vibes of the Fire Nation. Post-genocide, though. Like, after oh, they yeah, post killed all the airbenders. So what was the story? Let me get, I can't run through what I think the story. So it's everything was pe calm and peaceful, then the Fire Nation attacked. Yes. Genocide. <laughs> That's the vibe. That's, yeah. Oh, no. that, after they attack and every they, everyone else is down, oh, so but everyone's they're up. pissed. No, no, but you're up. Like, because you're the Fire Nation. Did they know that the Ang was gonna be who he was? No. Well, not in the beginning. So they just they're like someone could be quite strong down the line. No, they were looking for the avatar. <laughs> yeah, Ang can do fire. 
in time, yes. He learns. Are you talking about like just post genocide? Like just, it's just happened. It's like the day after. Day after. That's like the day after, but like you killed Roku. Sozin's just come back. He announces to the people, everybody were up. We're taking everything. You're realistically going to be gassed the fuck up. Like the vibes of the Fire Nation then must have just been sick. Like you're just going around. Murder. Murder. <laughs> Why did they do it? Why? Just for vibe's sake, man. That looks so selfish. I mean, I think it's based on some of those, yeah, colonialism. That's a big part of the show. I don't know. I feel like I would feel slightly bad. They'd be like, no, man. No. Yeah. I like to think that in a genocide, I wouldn't be okay with it. When they, when, when they went to the fucking dull at all the airbenders, you're like, that's not right, man. Why did, why did they attack? They get involved in that. The reason why. Because they were strong type shit. It was one of those ones where oh, it's like Roku and Sozin respect. grew up and then Roku was like, because he was the avatar, he was like, Damn, He was I the really avatar. Roku was the avatar first. And someone killed him. Yeah, his boy Ski let him die uh, when they were all the... Oh, Judas. Yeah, his best friend. <laughs> yeah. Judas? No, Sozin. Yeah. And then he... I feel like he just wanted because he wanted, you know what I mean? He was like, we could be the strongest nation in the world. Why don't you want this for us? Because Roku was born he in was fire. He was the strongest before. No, and they're all in heart. Like Katara says, they lived in harmony. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everything was fine. <laughs> then one Brito was like... I would have made buds with the Air Nation. They were all dead. <laughs> I would, no, I said, but I would have. I would have made buds with them. Because it, air and fire it fuels it. So it's like you could have even made more fire. So I don't know if you've how much of the series you've watched, but if you mix <laughs> air and fire, you get combustion. So there's a motherfucker that literally shoots beams out of his forehead and then just the way his wife goes out is crazy. Well, not his wife, ex's but like wife, his, but like his kin, because she dies. Spoiler: the way she dies is one of the most disgusting things I've ever in seen. In a Nickelodeon show, brother, when I tell you this show does not pull punches. They throw them. No, not one punch, man. No. Wow. What the fuck are you talking about? Did you ever watch Legend of Korra? No, is it didn't. But Legend of Korra is apparently like 10 times better than that. Nah, I think they're probably on par. Serious? I think Legend of Korra is very interesting. Yeah. I just think, yo, Legend of Korra is so good. But I just think like that OG avatar, like the arcs of everybody and like, Think about Zuko. He's literally went from like your least favorite character to like, I die for this man. Like, I Why he got the birthmark? <laughs> 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 no, that's it. Okay, we're moving on. Hey, no. he's watching. Oh, what is it? A uh, cinema first date. I thought you were going to say 500 days of summer. David, you, t you can tell us. What are the vibes of a... Rate the vibes. <laughs> I have never done this, actually. Okay, that's a fucking lie. Who did I do it with? I'm not going to say... I can't say. Hickeys. Go on. No, we didn't watch a movie. First date? Was, when did you watch a movie? Oh, never. You <laughs> said you were in the cinema. When? You actually went to watch it. You're being, you're baiting yourself as a... No, no, I swear. A knife. No, no, I swear. <laughs> I also remember you being at a movie. My, no. first, my first date was at um, Parkhurst. Uh, sorry, Top of GGS. How glad he... Glad he's been there. <laughs> and then second day? I don't think there was a cinema. You, li <laughs> <laughs> you literally went to the cinema. I, I swear to God, the story you told oh. <laughs> oh, I completely took this out of my head. What was it? Astros. Astros or something. You ever go on dates and then they do <laughs> weird shit? <laughs> Why did I feel Someone like put did you go to the weirdest chicks, man? No, no, shame. I don't <laughs> think they are. I'm, I'm probably very dramatic. But I feel like people some, have normal dates. It was you salt, come and, with salt and vinegar with Astros in it. Salt and vinegar popcorn, and they threw Astros in there. <laughs> there was so much happening, <laughs> and I had to pretend like, oh, it's kind of a, like <laughs> it's not. I thought it was that stressful then. That first time, like, what are you going to do? I've never done... I can't do that one, boy. Not all Over enough. the... Nah. 
It's awkward in a movie cinema because you try to go to the top and then you're not even touching. So you have to come down and then you're actually just scratching and back. Yo, if their head is like this, <laughs> 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 you got to back your arm down forcibly. You're just there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyways. And what does that even do, man? You're just like this, watching. <laughs> you just shoulder out of whack for watching this movie. <laughs> Hey. Oh, and then you're there trying to hold a hand. And you've got so much butter salt on your hand. <laughs> that's, just, that's just you, Dave. <laughs> no, that's just Dave. Oh, that's hilarious. So yeah, you wouldn't do it. Wouldn't recommend. First Not anymore. Aid. No. What no. What I want to do as a first aid. Don't steal this, please. 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 I want to take someone pottery spinning. But then I'm scared I get so competitive with it that I will sabotage them. But I really just want to. So you want to move parts? <laughs> <laughs> you want to move parts while they do a? No, we both spin. Oh, separately. Yeah, yeah. So you're not gonna ghost that shit. Mm-hmm. Why wouldn't you? It's only corny. Movie. That was. I went on a date to a pool fucking a pool hall. Why did I say pool fucking pool hall? Did that thing. You, you know went and we, you went behind. I did the reach over. She you, asked. I was like, okay, fine. I can see you're a traditional idiot. Sorry, traditional girl. You did that. She literally I, said to me, come show I'm me. I'm sure that's a rule with like ball breakers. Like you can't do that. I did it at ball breakers. <laughs> they should have stopped you. I mean, we were playing on the snooker table as well. So like oh, no yeah. one cared. <laughs> that's so big. That's what she said. <laughs> that's, the, yeah, I don't respect you. I respect you less now for that. She oh, was I supposed to say no? I'm no, give her pointers. Idiot. Like say, hey, yeah. I did that. I was doing that. <laughs> See, Bill knows. <laughs> Bill's there like, cover. <laughs> no, can you show me? Just, just use your geography, you, know, you right stupid here. bitch. It's an angle. It's easy. And it's like, no, just come behind. I, I won't be able to. Just aim The worst is when you have that one friend who wants you to get it in, but the angle's awkward. So they just stand at a random place and they're like, just hit it. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I'm never going to touch a ball. He's like, trust me. Trust me, brother. They I just... can see the eight ball pool lines in the sky. <laughs> I know where it's going to fall. Oh, it's so annoying. Yeah, fucked up. Oh. And last one, Dale. Uh, you can Del. bang it there. I think it's the last one. Oh, no, this was just for Davey. The vibes are too fast, too furious. You're there in Miami. The bras have just come down. It's racing season all I over love, again. I love it. I've thought about getting... Like, I, I wanted to get an MX-5, a Miata. But my brother, she said, it's the dumbest idea because then you're so explaining engines to me. And I realized that it's not a... There's different engines as well. <laughs> not like that, but like different combustion engines. Oh, and like you don't have to go for the one he thought you wanted. Yeah, because it's like a Mazda RX-7, MX-5, different engines. And there's a reason the RX-7 is the one that everyone wants and they don't want the Miata. <laughs> he also said I would look like a girl. <laughs> But I would be so pumped. Oh. <laughs> the thing is, so if you watch Fast and Too Fast, Too Furious, the start of the movie, it happens. They're driving, driving, driving. They bet, I think total is $10,000 $10, is the pot. Each person put in 2 k So your profit's 8 k Fantastic. It's 2003, so 8 k can get you pretty far. Does Ludacris not fucking put the bridge up? <laughs> <laughs> Make people fuck their cars up. So imagine, imagine you come second, which happened to the, and you'll see this picture, the red car. She comes second. Her car's fucked. <laughs> like the completely ruined. Yeah. She got no money. <laughs> Paul Walker ruined his skyline <laughs> for 8K. And the ludicrous is like, you know, I got you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Why has no one ever questioned this? Bro, everything, they went, and even if you question just the basics, Oh, even in question the basics of it all, they go and they were w- doing this train heist where they had to steal cars. They crashed the car and they chose to sell it. <laughs> but that's Shitting later on, though. This is fucked. Everything's fucked. They don't. Yeah. No. It's a stupid. It's, 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 I feel like you are one of the few people who consider the inconsistencies, but it's because when you've seen something that many times, you kind of can't. Just keep enjoying it. Like, the questions start to arise. It's like when the rock... <laughs> the rock keeps falling onto cars. 
but it's the same height, but different things happen. <laughs> so he fell 30 meters onto a car. So everyone knows in Fast and Furious, if you fall in the car, you'll be fine. You're going to live. That's the crash mat. Yeah. A car is a crash mat. But he broke his arm. Then Vin Diesel got sent across a highway, hit a car though. Completely fine. Saved his lady. It's yeah, that's actually stupid. But such good movies. It's, they, a, it's they, easy viewing. I went and I was speaking to someone about it. And I was like, I was like, you know what scarred me as a child? Was that scene? Yeah, that rat, yeah, dude. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. You thought someone might just do it to you. Like, mm. Yeah, I was, <laughs> like, I, never, I was like, I don't know where my life's going to end up, but I will be in Miami and this man will put a rat <laughs> on my stomach and try to make it get out. And you know what? I used to think like when I was in bed, like before like sleeping, I'd be like, what do you like? How do you stop it? Yeah. He couldn't stop it. He was being held down. It's the fun. rat was there just getting getting antsy. He was like, where the hell am I? And Paul Walker's just there like, gotta let it happen, cuz. Gotta let it happen, cuz. Cuz. It's a leave a cuz. It's a leave a cuz. <laughs> oh, 10 yeah. out of 10. I would have loved to have been there. I really, I really do wish we were in an alternate universe and all the rest, the rest of the Fast and Furious movies were exactly like two Fast Two. Furious, where it was like Do you know amazing what? cars modded. The problem is they, they flew so, so cool. fast because if you like the scale, economies of scale, I love saying that word so much. So <laughs> words. <laughs> yeah. Um, Land. Fast and the Furious, so what's it called? Fast and the Furious, they are stealing microwaves and selling them. Too Fast and Furious, they, they're shoveling drugs. Tokyo Drift is they stealing from someone, basically. Oh, no, sorry. This is where it starts getting outrageous. An American goes to the Yakuza and says, <laughs> I will race your nephew, and then he has to leave town if he loses. <laughs> okay. Fast and the Furious 4, they are going across Mexico through fake fucking things and doing drugs again. Fast and the Furious 5 is... Dom fakes his own death. Yeah. No, yeah. Oh, no, he doesn't fake his own death. He leaves Letty. And then Letty dies. Fake. Yeah. But, oh, but then, like, the extremities of it. Oh, no. Fast and the Furious 5, they steal a bank vault and drive it through the country, through, like, Rio, I think. I think it is Rio, yeah. Yeah. That's and wild. They, they fuck it up. Like, once again, that money would have not cleared. <laughs> Yeah, all the die packs have gone off by now. <laughs> Didn't they switch the vault? Oh my goodness. It literally, it went from like a cops and robbers movie to like, literally like Into a heist. Oh yeah, us. even even like the big like joke is they went to space. But I went and I watched it. <laughs> and it wasn't like they took a rocket ship. <laughs> they took a they rocket tried. car <laughs> to space. <laughs> Ludacris was in a rocket car. <laughs> back to, he we'll went back to Luda. 8K. <laughs> 8k the rocket car. Fuck that guy. That kind of shows you the you know his economies come up of scale. The, the economies of scale is the more you buy, the cheaper it gets. Yeah, yeah. So like, the more severe the movies get, the more <laughs> movies they make. Next vibe check. Forty out of ten. Last one. Camping, Camping festival. Ah, oh, so we're gonna tell them what we're doing this weekend. Yeah, you can tell them. No. I'm joking. Uh, we're going to Millie Pop. Millie Pop and Pop. I'm so excited because it's not it's not just drum and bass. It's not just trance. There's rock. There's techno. There's it's everything in between. There's a natural spring. There's they a lot said, of stuff. They said of things you must bring, a lilo. They said the weather's going to be fucked. They said a mixed bag. But, uh, I'm, glad you, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you're in. They said it's, like, it's going to be a mixed bag. Some block and gum boots are recommended. Then the third rule, we recommend bringing sunblock and gum pits. <laughs> so it's probably going to rain a shit ton there. Yeah. Yo, it's going to be like a one of those dirty mud festivals. Oh, I'm so rocking. excited. But but what we, we, I think we've done it a bit smart today, this time, because we're going with um, our boy Alex. We bought heavy duty with he's, us. He's got a Land Rover Defender plus a trailer. And then if it is, he's got two tents on the top. So it's tent on the trailer and tent on the car. Yep. And I'm going to bring a blanket this time. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Learning, learning. Oh, I can't, I can't risk that yeah. again. That cold. And Pumalang is unforgiving, dude. We've been there in the cold before. Yeah. 
What would you rate the vibes of camping festivals? You never thought you'd be a camping festival kind of guy. I know this. For now look, fact. I'm going to two in this month. So do you know what the vibes are? You're going to two. <laughs> in front of God and these cameras, you're going I'm to not, two. Uh, he's buying a ticket. <laughs> He's uh, buying our ticket, though. Don't stress. We'll get you back from Cape Town. I'll just fly down for a day. I was going to say, it's Saturday. Yeah, I'm flying for the Saturday. <laughs> yeah, fly Friday evening. Gah. Gah. <laughs> <laughs> Is this your new word now? Gah. Fly down, cut. No, I said gah. <laughs> fly down, cut. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish I could talk with Paul Walker. So I, um, love camping festivals. I'm so excited for it. That's crazy, eh? Yeah. Been to two now, but I mean, you camped at the one and then the other one, you stayed in an Airbnb. That was like camping though. Like but you guys lived such a life of luxury for a neighbor. We shared my bed, bed. My the... bed was, <laughs> you saw my bed. Giving out in the middle. <laughs> I don't think we ever got to say this, but we went and we, did we talk about our hey neighbor Airbnb? No, we never have. I wonder we need to just have a Hey Neighbor episode because we haven't talked about it. But we got enough. an Airbnb and it says it's a two two bedroom, one bathroom shop. It was like 700 bucks a night. What was it 700? No. No, I think it was like, oh, oh, it was one, two for three days. Like it was dirt cheap. Yeah, yeah, it was probably cheap. I think it was like 350 a night. Yeah, like we made, we made such a bargain there. But we, I saw immediately when I walked in, the way you walk in is the bed is the first thing you see, which is not normally a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> then in your in your in in the main bedroom is a fridge, a cupboard, not a stove. There's no stove there. There's no stove. Yeah, that was shocking. I really <laughs> thought there'd be a stove. But it's good because you didn't bring the eggs. Yeah, I forgot everything. <laughs> yeah, <it was> perfect. <laughs> then you turn right and then there's a bathroom and then there's a couch and then a table for two. Fantastic. There's a door. Wait a minute. There's a door there. There's no bed though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then I was like, maybe it's the pull-out couch. <laughs> it really was. Every and then I was like, I'll take this one because shame I went and I made Dylan Lebs like get this like place. Like I went and I was pushing it. I pushed for the cheaper option. I mean, say. I was pushing for the fucking backpackers. I'm glad we didn't do that. And you know, yeah, the worst <laughs> is the Simbi stayed in the backpackers, imagine. Um, I never said I had a choice or liked it. You said I you loved it. stranded. And then, so I'm going to go back to the bed because I don't want to talk to you about that. Okay. Every single morning, I woke up in the middle of the bed with the thing caving in on me and the springs trying to get Slowly involved inside back. of me. Fuck that bed, man. That was bro, terrible, just bro. be honest when you fucking... I, I was more comfortable up. in Twilight with no blanket. <laughs> That's a lie. I was so uncomfortable. You could have died there. <laughs> and you could have died in between that bed that was trying to swallow you whole. I really wish we did that cool thing where you, like, you try to put someone inside of it, but... Uh, I couldn't even couch. get it yeah, inside of the couch. Like, That's the not cool. I actually don't think that's even remotely funny. Camping festival, babes? I'm partial. It's like you were saying about, what was it? Like going to a farm. It feels like December. It feels like you're kind of like in a, in a bubble and no one's going anywhere. Like we're all at this place, this camp, hmm. and we're all just going to be here. You know what I mean? Like, it's like tomorrow I'm going to wake up, I'm going to see. Yeah, it's like, and I think the cool thing is you get to talk to someone, then you get to talk to them tomorrow. Yeah. Ah. You get to make friends, like two days to make friends. Why do you call them friends now? Because <laughs> <what> <laughs> I matter. won't do anything. Fest. <laughs> I don't actually know anyone going to this phase other than Regan. Yeah, no. One I saw, did there. you see Boots' story? Oh, yeah, but you see, there's your problem again. Is that thing about the being in the community of going out and we're all just one big friend group. What was the story? Oh, the one where he wants to... He was there making Millie Pop tunes. He's going to shuck Millie. He's going to shuck tunes. Yeah. You know the you know? song that goes, A Millie, A Millie, yeah. A Millie, A Millie, I don't understand what that has to do with. You know boats, man. Uh, Joker. Joker. Uh, 
Anyways. I'm sorry, I ruined chain of thought there. I just thought it was a cool story. But like. no, yeah. So it's one of those ones. If I'm going by Dell's logic, it's like, yeah, Donnie will be there. Fucking Avi will be there. Fucking, you know, Ports will be. Like, one of the cool things, we've interviewed like eight of the people there. Oh, that's quite cool. Hmm. It's like a reunion for us. Except you don't want to fucking go. Shame, I'm sorry. You're tired. Can That's rude. Are you just tired? What? We're going to get you out of this. Whatever it is. Who are the loan sharks? Who do I have to pay? <laughs> the loan I'm shark. sorry. Out of frame, yeah. Thanks. Is that is that tight? Oh, yeah, 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 thanks. Is that this a one's pimple better than the cake? last one. Yeah. It's That's all meant to look like pimples. Disgusting. Thank you guys. I, so I looked much. at his search history this time. He just searched gross cake. Oh, yeah. That's sweet. At least he's. I wasn't yeah. there trying to show you guys babies and vagina Births. cakes. Next week, the quiz is just going to be real or cake. We should play that game. Or like other game, I said, we try and cut things in half directly. Like exactly. But like, where would we do that? <laughs> <laughs> we can make it. We can make it. We can make it work. We'll do it. I will get it working. I promise. I'll do all the logistics. It's just one of my. We new still need to try all our favorite chip sandwiches as well. I was very excited. For I went and was yeah. 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 I really want to try your guys because fucking it's terrible my beef. Yo. <laughs> Did you see how live alive because we came with the own chip sandwich? <laughs> he said we do need to do that, boys. You promise. That's the it. thing is, it's like that's one, two, three, four, five. That's six sandwiches. Yo, you have to try five some. sandwiches. That's what I'm saying. Everyone just needs to bring their own packet of chips. And then we'll bring one. One more person top. just brings bread. Yeah. And, bu- and butter and aromat. You're putting butter. I don't want to get into this. Hi, wait, what? Oh no, no, I'm not getting back involved in this. What the <laughs> fuck? Why are you putting butter? You're not put you're not putting butter. No. Okay, no, we can't. No, <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Guys, no. well, it's, it's it's next week we'll pointless. talk about it again. It's the speed at which you guys are willing to murder I like each butter. other's firstborn. I like butter. I love that. I'm happy. I'm with you. Aramat's still not. Anyway. You haven't tried it. Sometimes I wouldn't even put chips. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> butter Sam. Yeah, butter Aramat sandwich. We don't need to talk about it. I'm landing the helicopter for that. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for joining us on another episode of Vibes Podcast. I've been Dave, and this has been Vibes Podcast. Like I just said, (laughs) please take it away from me. (laughs) Guys, we don't know where the fuck Davey is and is in, but we're here once again at Real Global Productions. Guys, thank you so much for coming through to this episode of Vibes Podcast. For Davey Delicious D, Dylan the DP, and Lebby Lebs. We've been Vibes Podcast, telling you to always... Keep bombing. Check out our reels and stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was the most Luke's thing. Guys, maybe subscribe. Like, I don't oh, know. Maybe subscribe.